Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. I'm Simisola Ajibu. An Abia State Magistrates Court in Umuahia has convicted Uche Oga, a former Minister of State for Mines and Steel Development, for forgery. The Abia State cha Chapter of the All Progressives Congress had alleged that Oga fabricated the party's direct primary result sheet with intent that it may be acted on as genuine despite not participating in the party's May 26, 2022 governorship primary. The plaintiff submitted that Oga's falsification was detrimental to the party and Ikechi Emenike, whom the party recognizes as its authentic governorship flag bearer. Ahead of the 2023 elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it is planning to set up voting centers for over 2 million internally displaced persons across the country. Chairman, Board of Survey and Technical Committee on Equipment Acquisition, INEC, Mohamed Haruna, confirmed on Monday that the move for the displaced persons is to ensure that no one is disenfranchised in 2023. Haruna explained that with the spread of insecurity across the country, INEC would conduct elections in IDP camps where they still exist but would adopt a different approach for the internally displaced persons living in communities. No fewer than 953,803 permanent voters' cards PVCs are yet to be collected in Lagos. The resident electoral commissioner in Lagos State, Olusha Gwangbaje, while reeling out the figures at a stakeholders' meeting on Thursday, added that uncollected cards and expected PVCs for the registrants who did, who did fresh registration, transfer or review between January and July 2022 would be available for collection in all INEC offices across the state from Monday, December 12, 2022. Agbaje, who further disclosed that 13,325 Vimoda voter accreditation system Beavers machines would be used for the polls had been received, urged people to visit the INEC offices to collect their PVCs. The current wave of COVID-19 cases is still rising in Australia, with the latest data from New South Wales and Victoria showing a sharp jump in the number of deaths attributed to the pandemic virus. The latest weekly figures come as a comprehensive analysis of the impact of COVID-19 on mortality rates has found there were 15,400 excess deaths across Australia in the first eight months of 2022, or 13% more than predicted. The Actuaries Institute's COVID-19 mortality working group estimates 8,200 of the deaths were directly due to the virus, with another 2,100 having it as a contributory cause and the remaining 5,100 featuring no link. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele, says the newly redesigned Naira notes are already in banks and ready for issuance. According to a statement on the CBN's official Twitter handle, Amefiele disclosed this in Daura while on a visit to President Mohamed Buhari on the Naira redesign and the recently reintroduced cashless policy. Amefiele assured that the currency redesign and reintroduced cashless policies were not targeted at anybody but are for the good and development of the Nigerian economy. He urged Nigerians to embrace the various electronic channels available for banking and financial service transactions in Nigeria. The European Union has imposed sanctions on a Belgian gold trader, rebel chiefs and Congolese army and political figures for fueling fighting and human rights abuses in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. On Thursday, the EU said it added eight people to its list of sanctions over violence in the conflict wracked eastern region. It also extended existing sanctions against nine others. In a press statement, the Council of the EU said the 17 people are now subject to EU restrictive measures until December 2023, which consists of a travel ban and an asset freeze. In sports, Arsenal returned to action in style with a stunning 3-0 victory over Lyon in the Dubai Super Cup. Goals from Gabriel Miguel Hayes, Edi Inketia and Fabio Vieira were enough to give the Premier League leaders an emphatic win over the French side despite fielding a team made up of academy players. Arsenal goalkeeper Carl Hein made four saves from the spot to ensure all four points for his side. That's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I'm Simisola Hachiko. Bye for now.